Hi everyone, welcome to this month's update for what's happening at Adelaide City Council, June 2015. At this week at Adelaide City Council, we passed and we endorsed the financial year budget for the 2015-2016 financial year. On an overall budget of about $175 million a year, Adelaide City Council delivers a range of initiatives for its community, and that's what we will do over the next 12 months. Importantly, we've been able to put a freeze on council rates for the vast majority of our ratepayers this financial year. This year we're focusing on many things, but importantly things like essential infrastructure, uh, digital infrastructure, community initiatives, all things which you'll see tangible results of across the entire City of Adelaide this year. We're also supporting our entrepreneurs, getting behind our businesses, and championing something which is really important to this term of council is improving the City of Adelaide's credentials when it comes to greening. So that means greener streets, better parklands, and also unrolling a range of incentives for our residents and our businesses so they can become more energy efficient. Last week at council we also had a look at the Frome Street bikeway. And the objective here is to look at the design, the traffic flow, and the safety of the Frome Street bikeway. So what we've asked the administration to do is to bring a report back to us in September which answers each of those three questions. Because importantly, our longer term objective is to extend the Frome Street bikeway, possibly right down to the River Torrens, so that we've got cycling inf infrastructure really from the South Parklands right across the city. So it's incumbent upon us to get this right to work with our community, to work with our residents, to work with our cyclists, to work with our businesses, to work with all city users to make sure that we get that design right. So that's what we've asked administration to do and we look forward to administration bringing that report back to the elected members in September so that we can make an informed decision about where to from now when it comes to the Frame Street Bikeway. Part of adopting the budget for the 2015-2016 year is of course the inclusion of various sponsorship and grants. This is very important for the City of Adelaide because our sponsorship and our grants programs cater for the arts, sport, recreation and of course our many events which we hold over the City of Adelaide over the whole year. And these events and these grants really contribute towards the whole fabric of our city. Let's look at some statistics which really back that up. So we've got all of these various activities contribute approximately $83 million a year to the city economy and they also bring in up to 600,000 visitors a year also. So you start adding this together and you can actually see that the importance of Adelaide City Council supporting a whole range of activities in the sport and rec, the arts and the event space, it adds to a more vibrant and sustainable city. This week I'm also very pleased to share that Council has endorsed a up to $2 million contribution towards the Anzac Centenary Garden Walk commemorative project along Kintore Avenue. And in 2015, commemora commemorating 100 years of Anzac, what better time to do this? This is a collaboration between Adelaide City Council, State Government of South Australia, Veterans Affairs at a national level with the Federal Government, and an important project which the State Government, in conjunction with Adelaide City Council, looks forward to releasing further details about soon. In the meantime, everyone, uh, wonderful to speak with you again, and I do look forward to seeing you again next month where I can share more about the exciting things going on at Adelaide City Council.